Hi everybody, Harry Platkow here with another Jazz from the Combs. We started these shows about a year ago and here we are a year later and more jazz. Tonight we have the Bob Gallo Quartet. Bob Gallo on tenor sax, um, Bob Kaufman on drums, uh, Barry Smith on bass, and Fernando Argenti on piano. Enjoy the Bob Gallo Quartet.
Thank you. 
Hi, everybody. This is a portion of the show that we call Jazz Speak. This is where we get a chance to talk to the guys who have played for us tonight. And we're talking to the Bob Gallo Quartet. We got Barry Smith on bass. We got Bob Kaufman on drums. We got Bob Gallo on tenor. And this gentleman said I can call him Fergie. Fergie Argenti, is that right? Ferdy, Ferdy. Ferdy, D, as yes. in Ferdy Graffé? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, okay, exactly. okay, all right. Bob Kaufman, it's been too many years. Bob Kaufman, Bob Gallo, it's been too many years <laughs> since I've seen you. What is it, about 10 years now? About that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you're playing, still sound, it's been 10 years since, I, since I've heard you. You still sound very much like Charles Lloyd. Well, I, were you influenced by him at all? When he was hot, yeah, I used to listen to him a lot. But uh, he wasn't my all-time favorite player. But I, you know, I, I, I mean, I would never been. I never thought you would say that. that I don't. Well, I'm talking but, about Charles Lloyd going back to the 1970s. Okay. When he had Ron McClure and went to Russia mm. and all those guys, mm. your, your sound is very much like his. Wow, well, that's a compliment. Well, now you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the question is, uh -oh. who were you influenced by? The usual, Coltrane, <clears throat> Sonny Rollins, Sonny Stitt, all the great players. Stan Getz, probably more than anyone. How about Coleman Hawkins? Where Coleman Hawkins. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. All the. All the people that you listen to and try to play like and all that, you know, so. Where can people hear Bob Gallo these days? Where oh. are you working? <laughs> I'm not working, as we, we know what the business is like. Yeah. Um, in fact, I'm going to be working with Ferdy. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Next month, is it May? We'll yeah. say the, the whole name later. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, but, you know, no, nothing steady, so um, not like it used to be. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. So I uh, practice a lot, but other than that. Good to have you here tonight. Oh, you sound great. Thank you. Thank you. Ferdi Argenti. Did I say it right? Yes, Ferdi from Ferdinando, which is a whole Italian name. And you hail from Italy. Italy, yes. And are you a teacher at Berkeley as well? No, I've been at Berkeley as a student years ago. I don't teach at Berkeley. I teach privately. I teach in Northern Dover. And, but I, do, do you remember when you were living over in Europe, do you remember Willis Conover's program on Voice of America? Was that a program that you listened to? In Europe? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Say, say the name again. Willis Conover on the Voice of America. No, I, I remember the Voice of America, but I don't remember the you name. You know Willis? No, no. Okay. How old are you? Uh, almost 60s, 59. Are you really? <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Well, you would certainly remember Willis. 59, you look like a kid, for God's sake. <laughs> the oldest one here? <laughs> Am I the you old? are, Kaufman. You're the oldest one here. <laughs> now we have to say everybody's in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I was please. truthful. Are you really 59 years old? Yes. God bless you. We're going to listen to these guys play a couple of more tunes. Oh, the first tune they played, by the way, Fried Bananas. Did you pick that chart? Did you pick that yeah, tune? I did. I wonder if any of our listeners are, are hip to the fact that it's based on the changes it to It Could Happen to You. Mm -hmm. That was written by Dexter. He wrote the melody over those changes. Mm -hmm. Is that an accepted thing? I know Charlie Parker did a lot of that back in the 40s, and Diz did as well. But are people still doing that these days, coming up with bop heads from standard tunes? Are you asking me? Yeah, uh, I'm asking anybody uh, who will talk yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah, I go? think so. I, I think yeah. they still do it. Sure. Yes. Because it's, it's fun to do, and it's nice to have a different melody. Yeah. yeah. What about, yeah. Coming in? is it the Quasimodo? Charlie Parker tune was written over, Isn't It Romantic? Oh, my. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, Donald hey. Lee, too. Donald Lee. Yeah. Yes, that's right. That's, that's right. One of the songs, yeah. And there's a number of them. Uh, yeah, a lot of them. Uh, uh, and I can't think right now. Yeah. We want to hear you guys play a couple of more tunes. We're going to be listening to you play uh, jazz. Bird Like and Soul Eyes. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, the Bob Gallo Quartet.
the Bob Gallo Quartet, ladies and gentlemen, featuring Barry Smith on bass, Bob Kaufman on drums, Bob Gallo on tenor, and Sergi Argenti. Can I call you Sergi? No, Sergi is a little too different. Yeah. <laughs> Ferdy. 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 Oh, okay. Ferdy's As good. in Ferdy Groffet. <laughs> exactly. Okay, all right. I'm going to go home and listen to that tonight, and I won't forget you. Um, you guys played a lot of the book tonight, and I really appreciate that. It's always been my bone of contention that a jazz artist is only as good as he can play a ballad. And if he can play a ballad and move you, he's got some chops. And Mr. Gallo, you certainly have chops tonight. Oh. Very nice. Now, Barry and Bob and Ferdy have worked together, right? And Bob is a new stranger, a stranger to the group. Me? Yeah. I've worked with everybody but Bob Gallo. But oh, I've worked with oh. all, all these guys, of course as you, you know, have. with Barry. That's right. That's right. What's it yeah. like working with Bob Gallo? You never oh, heard him great. play before? It's, great. it's very easy because he's such a great player. Yeah. And everybody here has got so many years of experience that it's, it's very easy just to sit down and play. Yeah. That's something we do all our lives, you know. And you guys do it beautifully. It's absolutely amazing listening to And of to course, my, my <laughs> buddy here, we're a team. That's right. Barry. You, you guys hold up bangs together, don't you? Or yeah. Or li liquor yeah. stores <laughs> and things like that? Uh, actually, <laughs> we're, 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 we're late. You're late. <laughs> yeah. You're late. You guys are crazy. <laughs> the Bob Gallo Quartet.
So comes an end of another Jazz from the Cones. The Bob Gallo Quartet, ladies and gentlemen, Bob on tenor. We had Barry Smith on bass, Bob Kaufman on drums, and Mr. Argenti, who plays some beautiful piano. Next month, we're going to be having somebody from the Cape come up, so I hope you'll stop by. In the meantime, don't forget, Call your mom, hire a vet. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>